The best choices here on CJOH Cable 7. Well, as we've said, today's show is dedicated to CJOH's 30 years in Ottawa, and we'll be looking at our history from the inside. Well, way back in 1963, another two broadcasters looked at CJOH. Who were those two? A fellow by the name of Baden Langton, and another by the name of Peter Jennings. From CJOH TV, CTV's News Center in Ottawa, I'm Baton Langton, and Peter Jennings with this new special about Canada's fifth largest market, Ottawa and the Seaway Valley. Peter, you were there right from the beginning. What was it like? Exciting, challenging, and brand new, Baton. But I think the person who can really tell you the story is this well-known gentleman talking with CTV news commentator, Ab Douglas. Can you tell us something about your operation here at CJOH? Well, Ab, uh... As most people know, I suppose ours is a private company in which some 37 shareholders hold a financial interest. Well, could I ask you whether an operation like this would cost, Mr. Bushnell? Well, I have it cost plenty. Uh, slightly more than $3 million. We have a big plant, a good plant. It's functional, well-staffed, and well-equipped. That was Mr. E.L. Bushnell, affectionately known as Bush, the president of CJOH-TV in Ottawa. According to the latest facts, Peter, Mr. Bushnell's station serves Canada's fifth largest market. Well, for someone who's grown up in this area of Baden, or at least spent a great deal of time here, I've probably been guilty of not noticing the tremendous changes. The Queensway, the new four-lane key to Ottawa's transportation problems, bisects the capital city from east to west. Looking north and west, it's easy to understand why Ottawa is one of Canada's fastest-growing cities. But back to the central point of our story, CJOH, television house, and its production facilities. Our guide, Stu Griffiths, vice president and general manager. There are four studios in this building, two this size, uh, each capable of uh, handling a live studio audience of about 300 people. Then we have two smaller studios, and in addition, in downtown Ottawa at the Chateau Laurier Hotel, we have a fifth studio adjacent to the Parliament building. We have seven of the latest model Marconi Mark IV cameras to cover Ottawa and the Seaway. And we have two Viticon camera chains and two Ampex videotape recorders. We need these construction facilities because we produce more than 40 hours of live programs every week. And as you can gather, our painters and carpenters are kept busy all the time. CGLH backs its high-powered CTV and top-rated nationally selective programs with strong local shows that give it the reputation of being the community station in Ottawa and the Seaway Valley. Plaza AM and PM is Liberty Awards 1963 Women's Program winner. Seen twice daily, late morning and early afternoon, Plaza has a variety of crisp, popular segments. Beauty and weight conscious viewers trim with Kim daily when they're not tempted by the creations in Karen's Kitchen. For preschoolers, their day begins at 9.40 with lessons and stories from their favorite, Miss Helen. Later in the school day, when school is out, a visit to Cartoonerville is a must, and with a bottomless bag of games, guests, and cartoons are those veterans of Canada's first TV days, Uncle Chichimus and Hollyhock. This is CJOH's news center. From here, three regular daily newscasts are edited for 13 and 8 viewers. But CJOH is especially proud that this is also the nerve center for CTV's nightly newscast. CTV's platform broke new ground in political broadcasting in Canada. Politicians from four parties, isolated in soundproof booths, appear together for the first time on a regular basis. It's so wonderful to look back, and we will be back to look at the job it was to get a TV station on the air 30 years ago. Stay with us. <laughs>